Hello, beginning trumpet players. This video is just for you. Uh, we are going to learn boot, scoot, and barn dance today. And you will have this video to watch and play along with that will have just your part um, you know, taught to you and you'll have a whole track of just your part to play along with to help you learn this song. So let's get started. We're gonna take a look at measures one through four. And uh, you'll notice in measures three that you have a full measure of rest. And in measures four, you have rest, then you tap your foot twice, and then you rest. So let's try measures one through four together. Here we go. Make sure you start on that low C. Oh, helps if my piano's turned up. There you go. That low C, no fingers down. Okay, one, two, ready, go. Then we rest, two, three, four, rest, tap, tap, rest. Okay, that's measures one through four. Let's do it one more time. One, two, ready, go. Rest, tap, tap, rest. Good job. Okay, we're gonna look now at measures five through 20. So we're gonna break the song up into sections. So right now we're gonna work on measures five through 20. And the reason we'll stop at 20 is because we have to repeat back to measure five uh, once you get to measure 20. So if you look at your music, you'll see in measure 20, that you've got the two repeat dots, and then you go back to the other repeat dots, which are at measure five. So you'll play five through 20 again, and that second time, then you get to continue on and play the rest of the song, okay? Well, my phone is not wanting to focus. Let's see, hopefully it'll stop jumping back and forth, okay. All right, we're gonna look at measures five through 20 and we're gonna play it two times through. Here we go, one, two, ready, go. measures five through 20 two times so you had that repeat. Um, I forgot to bring up before we went through it that you have that B flat to play um, and I believe B flat is uh, your first finger so just make sure that you're playing G A B flat. So B flat sounds just a little bit higher than an A so if, it's, if that sound is trying to drop down too low or trying to go real high, you know you're, you're not uh, 
using the right amount of air. So you really should just have G, A, B flat. So you barely just need a little more support on that B flat uh, than on your A to make sure you get that note up, just that little half step. So just don't forget to play your B flat. Okay, we're looking at measures 21 through 40 now. At the beginning of 21, you're gonna tap your foot three times. So you're gonna tap, tap, tap. Then you're going to clap, clap, clap. Then we have two measures of rest. And anytime you have multiple measures of rest, you wanna make sure you count each measure out as you're waiting. So the easiest way to keep track of where you're at is uh, you say which measure of rest you're in. I'm sorry, I can tell my, my phone keeps trying to focus on something. So sorry if it's bouncing around. Uh, you, you wanna say which measure you're in as you're counting. So for example, if we have two measures of rest, we're gonna count it like this. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. That's how you count two measures of rest. So for example, if we had four measures of rest, you'd count it like this. We'd go one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. So you're gonna say which measure of rest you're in at the beginning of counting out each rest, each measure of rest, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, because sometimes you may get eight measures of rest. You may have 16 measures of rest, and it's really hard to keep track of where you're at if you're not actively counting those out. And of course, you're not going to be sitting there holding your hand up like this, but you can, uh, you know, if you've only got two measures of rest, you guys shouldn't even be taking your trumpet away from your mouth. There's not enough time to actually rest because it's not really a rest for your body when we have a rest. It's just a moment of silence in the music. So uh, it, there's no time to relax. If you've only got two measures of rest, keep that trumpet in place because those measures will fly by and it'll be time to play already. But if you've got like 16 measures, sure, it's okay to, to take a little break and put your trumpet down, but you need to actively be counting that entire time. So say, you know, you're at measure 14, you can sit there and be kind of tapping on your leg, you know, go 14, 2, 3, 4, 15, 2, 3, 4, 16, 2, 3, 4, and then you know it's time to play again. Hopefully that all makes sense. Um, but that is the best and easiest way to count rests when you have more than one measure of rest in your music. All right, so here we go. Measures 21 through 40. Get ready to tap your foot first. One, two, ready, go. Tap, tap, tap. Clap, clap, clap. Rest, two, three, four, Two, two, we're at 25. second. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and work through 41 to the end of the song. Um, if you look at 41, oh, we didn't talk about this at the beginning of the song. You might wonder what those little arrows are below your notes at the beginning of your song and at measure 41. 
Those little arrow symbols are called an accent. That just means they want you to accentuate those notes or give those notes a little extra oomph when you play them. So just give a little extra burst of energy to those notes. That's the best way I can explain it. Um, and then at the end of the song, you'll see that we've got um, some hand clapping, some knee slapping, and some foot tapping, and then we're gonna shout, hey, all right? Okay, let's look at 41 through the end of the song. One, two, ready, go. Oh, you guys are my first video that happened. <laughs> okay, shall we try that again? <laughs> 41. <laughs> 41. Let's see if we can do that without my phone launching itself into space. 41. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. So to go over the clap, slap, tap, and hey at the end one more time, just be mindful that you're tapping your foot five times, then you rest, then you shout hey, and then we rest, which is the end of the song. So again, it's going to go clap, 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 slap, 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 and then you tap two, three, four, five, rest, hey, rest. Now, if you wanted to do that without me whispering the word rest so that you don't get in the habit of saying the word rest, let's try it without me saying rest. So we're going to clap, 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 slap, 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 tap, two, three, four, five, hey, and that's what it'll feel like on that one. Okay, you guys, we're gonna go through the entire song now with the repeat at measure, uh, once you get through, to, you know, up to measure 20, you'll repeat back to measure five. So don't forget to repeat, otherwise you'll get lost in our song. Um, but this way you'll have the entire song to practice with um, when you want to, and it'll be just your trumpet part. Um, you may feel a little tired, you guys, when you play a song that lasts this long. But now that we've, you know, played longer songs, um, hopefully you're getting a little more used to it. Uh, anyone who tries to say that playing an instrument um, isn't sort of an athletic event, they have never played an instrument. You guys know that you get out of breath, your lungs feel tired, your muscles get tired from holding up those instruments, uh, from sitting up straight from all the you know, breathing that it requires, all the lung power that it takes to play your instrument. Um, if people haven't tried it, they really don't know how hard it is and how much stamina you need to get through a longer song. So think about um, orchestra pits that play for Broadway shows when these Broadway shows last two and three hours long. 
and they're paying, playing hundreds of pages of music, try to tell any one of those people that they're not exhausted at the end. And me having done several orchestra pits, it is exhausting, it is hard work because you can't ever not pay attention when you're actively playing through an entire show. You can't just zone out. If you're lucky, once in a blue moon, you may have a song you don't play on. Otherwise, you have to pay attention and have those eyes focused the entire time, and it is exhausting. Okay, here we go. Boot Scoot and Barn Dance, the entire song with the repeat for trumpets. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. Rest, tap, tap, measure five. Good job. 
All right, trumpets, that gave you an entire uh, video just for you to learn bar boot, scoot, and barn dance. That's always hard for me to say. Um, and it also gives you a track of just your part that you can play and practice with. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learn a lot from it. And thank you guys so much. And I will see you soon. Bye.